On the 8th December 2016, President Yoweri Museveni appointed a commission of inquiry to investigate a wide range of land disputes. The commission came with a seven-member team headed by Justice Catherine Bamgamerere. Two and a half years later, the commission has closed curtains to the public after receiving 7,767 complaints. An end to the operations of this commission, which have lasted over 30 months. And as you all know, the land question in Uganda remains unanswered. However, Justice Catherine Bamgamerire justified their work by saying that they had saved the government over a trillion shillings in compensation for various land disputes. We have been able to save the government of Uganda over one trillion shillings in irregular payments, have exposed and halted uh, what would have been titling in wetlands. For instance, 100 billion shillings, which was due for payment to claimants of land at Isimba Dam, was halted. The commission also blocked payment of 40 billion shillings for land titles at Nachivubo, Kinawataka, Namanve, Nambigira Wetlands, and the Mugomba Forest Reserve. 50% of these complaints have been um, in the areas of land grabbing and land evictions and also touched upon the areas of corruption and fraudulent practices in land. In the course of their work, Bamgamirire says they received a lot of threats from powerful individuals who she did not name. We've had powerful people who have access, who have money, and who have... Um, who have the elements of coercion and can cause the physical taking of land. And many times this commission has stood in between. When he appeared before the commission over the Mutungo land controversy, the Deputy Attorney General Mwesugwaru Kutana rubbished the commission. The headline, the Attorney General dismissed, so what? They can go and hang. He can take it even to God. I don't give a damn. The commission also issued an arrest warrant to several other powerful people, including a close confidant to General Salim Musale, Lilian Abe, but they are still free. Sources in the commission revealed that Justice Pam Gamerire is due to meet President Yoweri Museveni this evening. Jingo Francis, NTV.